Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you the perfect charger for your DJI Mini drone. Now, it doesn't matter which Mini you're flying, the original Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, the Mini SE, the Mini 2 SE, the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, all of them can be charged by this charger. And the reason we came up with this is because a lot of the drones nowadays are being sold without a charger. So people go out and they buy a brand new DJI Mini drone, they get it home, then they're not sure how to charge it. And honestly, if you're using a standard charger, it can take a long time to charge your batteries or your controllers or really anything you're gonna take out in the field to fly. So we sat down and thought about what you need in the perfect charger. We wanted it to be small, we wanted it to be incredibly powerful, and we wanted it to work with the entire line of DJI Mini drones. And that's exactly what we've come up with here. So what we've developed is a 33 watt PD, which is power delivery, GAN or GAN charger. Now GAN is the latest technology for chargers. It allows them to be a lot smaller. So don't judge this by its size. It's really physically a lot bigger charger in the older technology, but because we're using GAN technology with this, it can be a lot smaller. So it fits right in your case. But then we thought, well, the mini drones have a couple of different connections that you would use to charge those drones. So for example, the newer ones use a USB-C connection on the controller, the drone, and even the charging hub. But the older ones like the mini SE use a micro USB on the older controllers. So we had to come up with a way to give you cables and connections that you could charge everything. So we put together a really nice kit that includes the 33 watt charger, a really nice pouch that you can carry everything around in. This is handy too if you want to carry extra blades or small parts with you. We're including two cables. One is a USB-C to USB-C. This is a really heavy duty cable and this is perfect for directly charging the drone, the controller, or using the hub. But we've also included what we call a Hydra cable, which is a USB-A on one end right here and the other end has three USB-C's on it. So essentially what this allows you to do is to plug this into the charger using the adapter, and then you've got three available USB-C's where you can plug in the controller, the drone, and even the charging hub at the same time and charge all three. Now the difference is with the single one, it actually recognizes any one of these devices individually and will quickly charge that device. So if you're in a hurry, plug in your charging hub to the uh, charger directly using the USB-C to USB-C and it'll fast charge out and I'll show you that in a minute. But if you're not in a hurry and you want to charge everything at the same time, you can use this adapter, which is a USB-A to USB-C adapter, slide it on the end of the cable right here, plug it into the charger and then all three of these are live and you can plug one of those into the hub, one into the drone and one into the controller and it'll charge at a normal speed. Now normal speed is five volts at about 2.4 amps and if you add that up and do the math, it's Ohm's law, you can figure out that a 33 watt charger will charge all three of these ports really, really fast as a normal charger. But if you want the PD action to kick in, you've got to use this single cable. Now I'll show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward. So let me put the hydro cable away for a second. I've got the charger right here, I'll plug it in, and then I'll use a standard cable. So I've got one here that's unwrapped. I'll plug that into the charger, and now I'm ready to charge anything on the table in a really quick fashion. So let me start with the hub. I'll plug this in right here. It'll take a second to recognize which of the batteries needs the least amount of charge. Once it recognizes that, you'll see that it'll start charging. So you can see it's quick charging that battery bank. It's gonna charge the middle one first, then move on to whichever the other two batteries need the least amount of charge. All right, so let's say we wanna charge the drone. We've got a battery in the drone. Maybe you don't have the hub. You can plug the USB-C right into the back of the drone. This is the Mini 3 Pro. And you can see that it's fast charging the battery in the hub. So it works really well no matter what you're trying to charge. Same thing with the controllers. Both controllers use a USB-C. I'll plug it in there. It'll take a second to recognize it. Once it does, it'll start fast charging this. There you go. So it's fast charging the controller. The uh, DJI RC controller, which is one of my favorites right here. I'll plug that in. It'll start charging this quickly. So what I'm trying to show you here is that no matter what you're charging in the DJI Mini line, it's going to charge it quickly. So there you go there. And the only last one we went a little bit of trouble with was the original controller. This is the Gen 2 controller that was used on a lot of earlier drones. It's used on the Mini SE and a couple of other Mini drones. It uses a micro USB connection on the side. You're probably thinking, well, how do I, how do I plug that in? It's a USB-C. What do I do with the micro? We include an adapter right here that you can put on the end of this cable. So you can essentially plug it in here. Boom, it's now a micro USB connection. And I can plug that into the side of the unit right here. You gotta be careful when you plug it in because DJI and their infinite wisdom did not use a standard connection on the side. So there we go. It's plugged in. It's gonna take a second to recognize it and it'll start charging it. So it's incredibly versatile and incredibly powerful and it's really, really small. And it took us quite a long time to develop this because we spend a lot of time thinking about what we do out in the field and how we charge our products and how we use them. 
And a lot of flyers out there said, Rick, we got the brand new Mini. I got it at home. It's taken forever to charge. What am I doing wrong? Well, you're probably using a non-PD charger, and you're probably using a charger that doesn't have the ability to charge at that high a wattage. So 33 watts is like that perfect Goldilocks zone where it's powerful enough to charge it, yet it's small enough where it's not this big bulky charger you're carrying along when you're traveling with your drone. So that was the first problem we solved. The second problem we solved was how do we handle the plumbing between the charger and the drone? What kind of cables can we include? If we include a USB-C to USB-C, that'll work for everything except some of the other drones like the, the original Mavic Mini and the Mini SE. Both of those use micro. So we include these three adapters. And again, what's nice about this is if you're using the straight cable or the Hydra, You've got two adapters for the USB-C end where you can turn it into a micro USB or you can turn it into a lightning connection as well because if you're taking an Apple phone out with you or a tablet, you'll want to charge that. You can pop this on the end and charge your Apple products. But if you want to use the Hydra cable, this one, it's got a USB-A on the end. Now you can certainly plug this into anybody's charger that you own today. It's a USB-A connection and all three of these become live. But if you want to use it with this charger here, you'll slide this USB-A a USB-C adapter over the end of it, then plug it into the charger and all three of these become live. And I'll show you how that works. So let me unplug the direct cable and I'll just plug in the Hydra. Now remember, when you plug a Hydra in, I've got about 10 watts at each of these ends. I've got, well, 12 and 11 and a half watts, I guess, at the end down here, um, which is 5 volts and 2.4 amps, or roughly that. So all three of these are live at the same time, but they will not fast charge. So let me plug this in just to show you they're all working. I'll plug this in. And just for kicks, I'll plug a, I'll just plug the other controller and it's just a little easier to show you. You could have a phone or a tablet, whatever you want to charge. But you can see that all three of these at this point are charging. They're all live, but they're charging at a regular pace. They're not going to charge at a super fast pace because two things. Number one, it's splitting the current between all three of these. But more importantly, PD, that power delivery technology, can only recognize one product at a time. So the minute I plug something in, it's splitting it three ways. It's going to charge at the standard 5 volts at 2.4 amps. But the advantage to the Hydra cable is that I can plug one charger in and charge three things at a time. So if you're heading out in the morning and you go get a cup of coffee, plug in all the devices you're taking with you for the mini, and you can charge all of them at the same time from one outlet. So we thought we tried to cover all of our bases to give you as much flexibility as possible with this. So again, just to be clear, the kit includes this Drone Valley charger, three adapters, a USB-A to USB-C, a USB-C to micro, and a USB-C to lightning. It includes a heavy-duty USB-C to USB-C cable and a Hydra cable that has a USB-A on one end and three USB-Cs on the other end. And both of these cables are heavy-duty. They use a cloth exterior. There's a woven cloth exterior on the outside. They're going to last you a long time. And then we thought we'd throw this little Drone Valley carry bag in as well because everything fits in the bag really nicely. You can put it away when you're done at the end of the day and keep all your doodads together, all your all your little tchotchkes or whatever you're bringing out there in the field with you. If you've got some uh, propellers you want to bring along, throw them in here as well. You can seal this thing up and then you're good to go. Just throw it in your bag and you know you've got a charger that can handle all of your, your DJI mini drones. And that's pretty much all I had for today. Now, the way we come up with these products is we got a team here at Drone Valley that goes out and flies every day and we're always looking for new and innovative ways to help the flying community. This is a product we put together. I've got it available on Amazon if you're interested. I've also got it on the website. But we tried to design a kit that was specifically for the DJI mini series of drones. You can use this with bigger drones, but the ones that draw more current, like say the Mavic 3 or the Avada or the original DJI FPV or the, uh, the Autel products, they require a 65 watt charger minimum. And this will charge them, but it won't fast charge them. But we have chargers as well for those if you care about that. But today I just wanted to talk about really the perfect charger, the perfect mini charger for your DJI mini drones. And we think we've done a pretty good job with it. So if you're interested, I've got links below where you can go check it out on our website. You can go on Amazon and purchase it there as well. If you have questions about it, drop those in the comments below and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. I love talking about products like this. I love sitting down and thinking about what we can do to help the community and what kind of products we can build. We're pretty proud of this one. So hopefully you find it helpful and you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying.